Hello guys, in this video we're gonna do this nice effect. So let's start. Okay, let's start. So here we have a jewelry text. The font I used is Fortuna Dot and the size is 380. And we have a background image. So the background image and the font are gonna be links in the description below, you can download them anytime. So after that, let's go to jewelry text and press Ctrl J to duplicate it, Ctrl J. And then the duplicate, put the fill on zero. So after that, let's move to the other file. And in the other file, we have the same layers. We have jewelry copy, jewelry, and background. So, but I added effects. So if I turn off the effects, we will reach the step we reached last time. So what? how did I do these effects and what are they? So let's start with the jewelry, the main text, which the fill is 100, not this one, which is the fill is 0%. So let's go to this one and turn on the effects. So what are the effects? Let's right click on it and blending options. And let's turn off the effects. But first I think let's zoom in so you can see up close what's happening. Okay, and I'm right click blending options. Okay, so let's turn off the effects. Okay, and let's go one by one. So first I added bevel and emboss. You can see some slight grayish here. I used inner bevel, smooth, depth 100, up direction and size 10 and the gloss contour I put it on ring and 83, 82 angle 53 altitude and I put highlight mode vivid light with white and 76 opacity and the shadow mode I put it on multiply with the color a6 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 okay and 75% opacity then I pressed on contour and you can see the difference here so I put the contour on linear and the range on 25% and I checked on anti-aliased. Then on the texture, you can see here in the pattern I have this lo nice looking pattern. So what I used here, I will put this link in the description below, you can download it. It's called crystal uh, pattern. You just double click on it. When you double click on it, it will appear here. This one here, you just click on it and put the scale on 10% and the depth on 100% uh, and link with layer and you will have this. And you can see here it's starting to look like a diamond shape. Then I pressed on pattern overlay and you can see this nice looking effect. So the pattern I use the same pattern, the crystal pattern, and I put the scale on 10% which is similar to the texture scale which is 10%. They will complement each other and the rest, opacity 100. And then I added a drop shadow. And the drop shadow I put it on black, multiply, opacity 50%, distance 10 and the size is 5, maybe you can increase slightly the... Yeah, I think that's it. And the rest. Okay. I think that's it for now. And now for the jewelry copy, which the fill is 0%, when I turn it on, you would see there's slight... There's like nice colors and extra effects. So let's right click on it and blending options. And let's turn them off. And let's go one by one. So first I added a bevel and emboss. The bevel emboss, it doesn't add so much effects, it will add later. You can see only slight whitish areas here. So I put it on inner bevel, chisel hard, depth 100, size 6, direction up, and the gloss contour I put it on ring again. And I put here highlight mode linear light with white, and the color here I use the same color before, A6, 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 okay. And on multiply, and the rest. Then I added a contour, and you can see here it added so much light, which made it look like a diamond. I put it on the range 50%, and the contour I put it on linear, and check the anti-aliased. And then the texture, you can see here I use this pattern here. So how did I add this pattern? So if you see here, I will put this link in the description below, it's called two line. So you right click on it, and open with, and you put Photoshop. Let's press OK for now. And you will have this it's called two line you just go to edit and define pattern and name it whatever you want and press ok and then go to the main file and let's go back where we were and texture and press on pattern here and just drag down and you'll find it here okay you press on it and the scale put it on 10 percent depth 500 and that's it then you press on inner glow so the color on inner glow i put this color B3B694 
I put the opacity on 74%, noise on 49%, screen, softer, center, 16, and the rest. And then I added a pattern overlay. And the pattern overlay, I use this pattern here. You can see this one, again, I'm gonna put it link in the description below, you can download it. And you can do the same, just right click on it, open with and define pattern, like we did with two line. And it will appear here. Just click on it and put the scale on 29% and the opacity on 30%. You can put the opacity more if you want, it will have more colors. But I think to make it more diamond looking shape, I will put it back to where it was. It was like, I think 30, 30 is fine. And the scale on 29% and press OK. And you will have this cool looking shape. So after that, we need to add some sparkle. So how do we add some sparkle? We add a new layer and I have this brushes here, it's called stars. You just double click on it and it will appear in the brushes. I'm gonna put a link in the description below as well. So when you go to brushes, go to window, brushes, and it will appear here. It's called stars, just go down and you will find S and F6, press on it and go to brush settings and brush tip and put the size on like 80 and the spacing on 25% and the shape dynamics put the size here on about uh, 30 and the angle jitter put it on 100 or maybe no I think the first one works better yes okay and this looks fine then after that just you can go to the layers and in layer one, let's name it sparkle. On, on the layer sparkle, get the brush and you can change it whatever color you want. I'm going to put it slightly yellowish like this here and just add some sparkle. Okay, maybe you're gonna put as well white and add extra sparkle on them. And when you zoom out, you will have this nice sparkling looking jewel shape. And one more thing you can do to make it more glowing and colorful. I think first let's change the letters. I think I'm gonna put maybe love and on the other one love they will be on top of each other and now the sparkles are all over the place so we can delete them and add a new layer and get the brush again and just add whatever you want maybe let's increase the size Okay, this is fine. And now let's go to the effects. In the bevel, I'm gonna increase the size a little bit. You can see now it's pointed. I'm gonna just zoom in and show you what happens. So when I go to the effects, you go to the bevel and emboss and increase the size and it will be a bit pointed from here. In the inner glow, you can decrease a little bit the noise. Okay, looks better now. And the pattern overlay just increase the opacity full and it will be much more colorful and you can see now it's much more colorful and nicer maybe a little bit increase the noise i think i decreased it so much and the inner glow just increase it slightly so it will have some dotty effect why not yeah i think that's it and we're done